Hi, it's Penny here and today I'm going to talk about some of the releases that are coming up in the rest of the year that I am excited about. Now a lot of these I did actually talk about in my video about 2020 anticipated releases at the start of the year, but you know, I've gained some subscribers since then so some of you might not have heard about them and also why not talk about them again. Also there are a couple of new ones. Uh, I will actually start with one which is like an uncertain release. So A Slight of Shadows by Cat Howard is going to be the sequel to An Unkindness of Magicians. This was supposed to be being released in June but I note now that it's just labeled as a 2020 release and also on her Twitter account she's still working on it so uh, even though I couldn't find an exact announcement I suspect it's delayed. And at the moment all release dates are a little bit shaky and changeable because the world is quite changeable. So An Unkindness of Magicians is set in New York and these different magician families have to put forward and champion and the champions battle it out and the winner of that tournament decides which house gets to be the leader for the next period of time. Primarily we follow this girl named Sydney who is trying to change the way that magic works. I really loved it. Uh, it was initially released as a standalone so I'm not really sure what the second book is going to do but I love Sydney so I'm excited to see if we get some more of her. So then I also want to talk about another book which should be released in June and that is the second volume of Ascender by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen. So this is a graphic novel series that is actually a follow-on series to the Descender series which I really loved. In the Descender series we've got this war between robots and humans and this little companion robot is stuck in the middle trying to find his human family. A lot happens. It's amazing and then in the second book we've got a child of some people from the original series who's also getting stuck in the middle of a bit of a space war. So this should be released on the 30th of June. Then on the 21st of July we've got Mallory by Josh Mellerman. So this is the sequel to Bird Box. Uh, Bird Box was also made into a Netflix movie last year. It had Sandra Bullock in it. It was pretty cool and the book is pretty similar. So we've got two timelines. One is this woman named Mallory discovering that she's pregnant around the time that people start seeing things and when they see those things they get very violent, uh, start killing people and killing themselves and so people have started locking themselves away in their houses in order to not see these things. In the other timeline she has these two children with her and she's trying to take them in a boat down the river with blindfolds on uh, in order to get them to safety. It's a really interesting story. Uh, at the end they do arrive somewhere and I guess this sequel will be telling us about what happens after that. Which is good because even though the first book was kind of set up as a standalone I was really wanting to learn more. So now we'll get to. Then on the 25th of August we have the third book of the Diabolic series coming out by S.J. Kincaid. So this is a series about a genetically engineered bodyguard and throughout the series she's really wondering is she human or is she not and then in order to keep the girl that she looks after safe she has to take her place and pretend to be her. Things get really out of hand. In the second book things get even more intense and the third book I just don't even know what's going to happen but I'm super excited for it. I do think I might need to reread this in the second book before that just to get myself back into understanding everything that's going on but I'm really excited for it. Then on the 29th of September we have the fifth volume of Monstrous by Marjorie Lou and Sana Takeda. The art in this graphic novel series is my absolute favorite. It's so beautiful. I want to put it up on all my walls. But also it is the story of this girl who has a demon inside her. She's also part arcanic which means she's part wolf. This is another one where there's a lot going on. Uh, I'm probably going to reread the whole lot before I go back into volume 5. But there's a cute little fox girl. There's all these like animal gods and people who are half animals, half humans. There's these really creepy witch ladies who are doing all sorts of awful and strange things. It does sometimes get a little bit complicated and hard to understand but honestly the art is so beautiful. 
that I don't even care. Then we have the 6th of October, which there are going to be a bunch of super cool releases on. Firstly, we've got Over the Woodward Wall by Sean and Maguire All. It says it's by A. Deborah Baker, but it's actually Sean and Maguire because this is, I think, a middle grade children's book, but it's referenced in Middle Game as having been written by this character, A. Deborah Baker, who was an alchemist that tried to change the way that alchemy was being done. So it's quite a weird idea to write a middle grade book based on this very twisty and it's sometimes quite dark adult fantasy book. So I'm really interested to see uh, what she's really going to do with that and whether it'll really have much reference to the alchemy stuff of middle grade. I'm hoping that once I've read it I'll be able to do alchemy. That's what I'm hoping. Then we also have The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue by Victoria Schwab. So this is a book that Victoria Schwab has been talking about for a long time. It is about a girl who falls in love with the devil but also makes a deal with the devil to live forever but in return no one will ever remember her. I think that's what it is. I don't really care what it's about. I usually love stuff by Victoria Schwab and since she's been so excited by this and been working so hard on it, I'm really hoping that it's really good. And then we have The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. So Stuart Turton wrote The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, which I really loved. It's like this uh, murder mystery, except that the character trying to solve the mystery is in a different character's head every day. Uh, and so at the end of the seven days, Evelyn Hardcastle dies and they have to try and work out why that's happening. I really love this. I believe that The Devil and the Dark Water is like a Sherlock Holmes style murder mystery, except there's demons? I don't know, but uh, since this one was so great, I'm really hoping that his next book will be as well. Then on the 13th of October, Rebecca Roanhorse has Black Sun coming out, which I believe is going to be the first book of a new series. Uh, and I don't actually know much about it. Let me look it up. Really, I just want to read it because I read Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse earlier in the year and I really loved it. And so I want to read more of her stuff. And like, she just seems so cool. So it says, inspired by the civilizations of pre-Columbian Americas and woven into a tale of celestial prophecies, political intrigue and forbidden magic. A god will return when the earth and sky converge under the black sun. I can't wait to read it. Then also on the 17th of November we have Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson coming out. So this is the fourth book in the Stormlight Archives. I still need to read the third one but I am excited for the fourth one. This is such an epic fantasy story. It's another one. These epic fantasy stories are just so hard to describe in a way that really makes sense because fantasy stories often sound completely nonsensical until you have the story kind of unfold before you. But there's magic swords, there's uh, people with all sorts of different magical abilities, there's a war that's been going on for generations, massive armies, political intrigue, and just really great characters. So again, that's one I'm super excited for. I do have one more anticipated release on my list. So I recently went to Alona Andrews website. Alona Andrews is the author of one of my most favorite series, which is the Kate Daniels series. Uh, and the Kate Daniels series ended after 10 books and I was really hoping that she would then continue on with uh, Kate Daniels adopted daughter Julie and tell her story because the 10th book kind of set it up for that. So I did see a post from Alona a little while ago saying that she didn't think she could write Julie's story because she didn't really think it would be commercially viable I think. But then I went to their site the other day and I saw that they're actually releasing Julie's story one chapter at a time on their website and then once it's finished they're going to release it as an ebook. I'm going to wait till the ebook comes out and buy it because one I want to support the author but also I want to consume it all in one go rather than little dribs and drabs which I think will drive me crazy. But I'm super excited to get more story in that world especially Julie's story because she is a really interesting character because Julie has the ability to see magic as colors and the different colors represent what kinds of magic it is. So in this world they do have these machines that are able to analyze magic and then they do like a little like seismograph type graph showing the colors. Uh, but Julie's magic eyesight is way more accurate than that. So um, sometimes she's able to use it 
in quite a good way. Also, just the whole world of Kate Daniels is amazing, of all the different mythology that's incorporated, and the shapeshifters, and the vampires, and the necromancers, and just there's so much included in that world, and it's amazing, and I love it. So that's all the releases that I am excited about uh, in the rest of the year. Do let me know if you think that I've missed out any releases that I should be excited about. Or otherwise let me know if any of the ones that I've talked about today are ones that you are also excited about. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and keeping safe. And I will see you next time.